Hey guys, it's Court. Today I want to start off my spiel with a flower. Now, it's not just any flower. This one is called Titan Arum. It's indigenous to Indonesia, has a very long lifespan, and yields rare blooming cycles. Now, I'm not talking about a daisy here. During its lifetime, Titan Arum can grow 8 to 10 feet tall. Wow. Before I get back to the flower, I want to change gears and introduce a few key terms, starting with amino acids. Amino acids come in two basic forms, essential and non-essential. Now, non-essential ones are made in the body, whereas essential ones are gained by consuming proteins. Now that you know about amino acids, I'd like to introduce two new compounds, putrescine and cadaverine. These compounds are found exactly when and where you'd expect them to be during the putrefaction of a cadaver. Both are formed during the breakdown of essential amino acids, such as lysine and arginine, which create cadaverine and putrescine, respectively. I'm sure at this point, some of you are watching this video wondering, what does this have to do with chemistry? Well, cadaverine and putrescine are responsible for this foul smell that one would associate with death. For humans, though, we produce both these chemicals every day. After all, bad breath is caused by putrescine, and the distinct odor present when nature calls in the morning is courtesy of cadaverine. Putrescine and cadaverine are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. They share the same molecular structure of a nitrogen atom at each end and carbon atoms in the middle. Each carbon and nitrogen atom is bonded with two hydrogen atoms. Each of the compounds is bad for you when consumed in high doses. This is called oral toxicity. Cadaverine and putrescine have an oral toxicity of 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. To calculate the oral toxicity of putrescine in moles for a person that has a mass of 130.0 pounds or 58.97 kilograms, the equation is set up as follows. The required is moles of putrescine. Given values are the mass of a human in kilograms and the toxicity in grams per kilogram. To begin the solution, molar mass of putrescine must be found. Next, I form my equation, solve, and reduce to significant figures. The oral toxicity for a human with a mass of 130.0 pounds is 1.337 moles of putrescine. I'm sure that after all this information, you may be once again wondering how all of this ties together with the flower. Well, the flower, Titanarum, is also known as corpse flower, a name coined for its smell, which has an uncanny likeness to a rotting corpse. The flower itself is the color of rotting meat as well, to attract carrion-eating beetles and flesh flies for pollination. While researchers began to examine this flower, it was assumed that cadaverine and putrescine were to blame for its putrid smell. However, it was discovered that the flower creates a different chemical with a similar stench. This means that even though the majestic giant may make your stomach churn on first whiff, you are highly unlikely to die from its potent repulsive smell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.